Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Read Along with Grandma Sherry. I hope you are doing well today. The story we will be reading is actually a classic folk tale. It is called Henny Penny, and it is retold and illustrated by Paul Galdone. Let's get started. One day, when Henny Penny was scratching among the leaves, an acorn fell out of a tree and struck her on the head. Goodness gracious me, said Henny Penny. The sky is falling. I must go and tell the king. So she went along, and she went along, and she went along, until she met Cocky Locky. Cock a doodle doo, where are you going, Henny Penny? said Cocky Locky. Oh, said Henny Penny, the sky is falling, and I am going to tell the king. May I go with you, Henny Penny? asked Cocky Locky. Yes, indeed, said Henny Penny. So Henny Penny and Cocky Locky went off to tell the king that the sky was falling. They went along, and they went along, and they went along, until they met Ducky Lucky. Quack, quack, quack. Where are you going, Henny Penny and Cocky Lucky? asked Ducky Lucky. Oh, we are going to tell the king that the sky is falling, said Henny Penny and Cocky Lucky. May I go with you? asked Ducky Lucky. Yes, indeed, said Henny Penny and Cocky Lucky. So Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, and Ducky Lucky went off to tell the king that the sky was falling. They went along, and they went along, and they went along, until they met Goosey Lucy. Honk, honk, honk. Where are you going, Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, and Ducky Lucky? asked Goosey Lucy. Oh, we are going to tell the king that the sky is falling, said Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, and Ducky Lucky. May I go with you, asked Goosey Lucy. Yes, indeed, said Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, and Ducky Lucky. So... Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, Ducky Lucky, and Goosey Lucy went off to tell the king that the sky was falling. They went along, and they went along, and they went along, until they met Turkey Lurkey. Gobble, 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 said Turkey Lurkey. Where are you going, Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, Ducky Lucky, and Goosey Lucy? Oh, we are going to tell the king that the sky is falling, said Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, Ducky Lucky, and Goosey Lucy. May I go with you? asked Turkey Lurkey. Yes, indeed, said Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, Ducky Lucky, and Goosey Lucy. So, Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lurkey went off to tell the king that the sky was falling. They went along, and they went along, and they went along, until they met Foxy Loxy. Where are you going, Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lurkey? asked Foxy Loxy. Oh, we are going to tell the king that the sky is falling, said Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lurkey. Aha, uh-huh, said Foxy Loxy. But this isn't the way to the king, Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lurkey. Come with me and I will show you a shortcut to the king's palace. Oh, good, said Henny Penny, Cocky Lucky, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lurkey. They went along, and they went along, and they went along, until they reached Foxy Loxy's cave. They all went after Foxy Loxy. From that day to this, Turkey Lurkey, Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Cocky Lucky, and Henny Penny have never been seen again. And the king has never been told, the sky is falling. Foxy Loxy and Mrs. Foxy Loxy and their seven little foxes still remember the fine feast they had that day. And that brings us to the end of this classic folktale called Henny Penny, which was retold and illustrated by Paul Caldone. I hope you like that story, and I hope you never listen to your friends do something silly just because they're doing it. You never know what would happen. Okay, that's the end, and I hope you liked it, 
And I hope above all that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Watch out for the sky falling. Bye-bye.